Hello, hello, SB fam. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're making chicken nuggets. So first you'll need that pork panko and you'll need one egg. All of this is in the description. Some chicken tenderloins, legs and wings also work. And you'll also need some black pepper, some sea salt or whatever seasonings you want to taste and for the sauce we're going to be making a spicy mayo deliciousness of a sauce uh, but what are we cooking the chicken nuggets in i prefer beef tallow this is pure beef tallow from us wellness meats it is a delicious fat to cook everything and anything carnivore in now let's get started all right, first things first, if you have a puppy, a dog, a cat, give them some love. Anyways, pork panko, what the hell is it? It's basically just mashed up pork rind chips. Now this one is from the famous brand called Bacon's Air. They actually sent me this, so thank you, Bacon's Air. I'm excited to try this for the first time, but let's say you don't have pork panko. Just mash up some pork rind chips and that's literally the same thing. Now use one single egg for the egg wash. We're going to beat this egg up and basically just coat our chicken or whatever meat you're using so it can have the pork panko to stick to it that's as simple as it gets and because I am very lazy and you all know that I like idiot proof recipes I'm making this recipe as simple and quick and easy as possible so you literally just throw in the wet chicken strips into the pork panko let it stick to all of those crumbs you can even use your fingers and coat it with more pork panko and you just repeat that's as simple as it gets. Um, if you want to step it up, you can replace the egg wash with mayonnaise. That will give it a really fatty, juicy, tender texture, and it will do the same as the egg wash. Make sure to use avocado oil mayonnaise, not plant seed oil mayonnaises. <laughs> okay, now, after you're done coating the chicken strips with the pork panko, which basically just substitutes breading crumbs, um, you will just transfer it into a pan. Obviously, you want to lubricate your pan with some fat. I just love beef tallow. It's a neutral tasting, delicious fat that you can cook literally anything in. Uh, put in your meat coated pork panko, meat stick, whatever's, and you just start cooking. Close the lid. You really just need to cook for two to three minutes per side. Just keep an eye on it, eyeball it. There's no exact measurements or timing for this recipe. It's really fail proof. Um, flip it. And as you can see, there's some bald spots on my chicken strips. I really feel like if I had soaked it overnight with the egg wash and the panko, it would have turned out way better. But knowing myself, I'm not going to wait longer than two minutes. Uh, when it comes to any type of recipe. So I just cooked it on the spot and let me tell you, it works, it's still delicious, it's still beautiful. You'll see at the end. I'm just cutting it up so it cooks even quicker. Now close the lid and it'll be done within another two to three minutes. Oh, and I really want to show you what else I'm cooking for Steak and Butter Guy. He loves beef stew. And I decided to use some chuck roast and cook him some Chinese style beef stew. Look at that, it is gorgeous. That's about it, guys. This is the chicken nugget recipe. Oh, and for the dipping sauce, I made a spicy chili mayo sauce, which is basically sriracha blended with mayonnaise. And you can mix it with a chopstick. That's what I did, a single chopstick. And I used Sir Kensington avocado oil mayo. Does it look pretty legit? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I made you the spicy mayo sauce. Thanks. Please. Just mayonnaise and sriracha. You can dip it if you want. Oh. It's hot. Sorry, I didn't warn you. How oh, is it, really baby? Good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Really? Not chicken or is it pork? It's chicken tenderloins. Mm. This is his appetizer, and I'm making him beef stew. Can I have as some you rat guys tongue? saw. You want some rat tongue? Yeah. Yeah, what else do you want? Um, Twin Peaks and Booty Panko. <laughs> okay, Booty Panko it is. Simba, what do you think? Do you approve? Do you approve? Simba? Yeah? Look at mommy. Oh. <laughs> Alright, see ya. See ya. <laughs> Where are you going? 
so this is what I'm eating 12 eggs just soft boiled and I actually ended up making more for stick and butter guy and I just cooked it in some butter works just as well so again if you want to try coating it with mayo instead of egg wash or maybe egg wash mixed with mayo I feel like that would make the uh, chicken nuggets even crispier and less bald spots <laughs> So there you go guys, that is the chicken tenderloin panko that I just fried up with beef tallow. It was super easy to make and Simba here is eyeing my blueberries. Gentle, good boy. Look at HB fam, <laughs> there you go. He loves frozen blueberries as you can tell. Um, so yeah, SB Guy is just enjoying the chicken panko dipped in spicy mayo sauce, which is seriously the easiest sauce you could possibly make. I imagine it would go well with a lot of things. Um, it's just sriracha and mayo. And try to make sure the mayo has no plant or seed oils. Um, I'm using the Sir Kensington brand with avocado oil mayonnaise. Um, yeah, super easy, great for people who are lazy, great for people who want to eat ASAP. And it's just a nice variety to a carnivore snack meal appetizer. There's a crunch, there's very scrumptious and salty meatiness. It's juicy, it's tender because it's a tenderloin. You can even use it with whatever meat cut you want, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. Try it out, tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your renditions and recipes and stories. I love resharing all of that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night. Stay meat fueled, SBG out.